This guy, Stuart, right here, earns over a hundred thousand dollars a year just walking dogs, and it only takes him 25 hours a week to do so. My name is Jordan, and I've been walking this good boy, Rufus for over a year now. And although I've not scaled my business to Stuart's size, I can definitely tell you how to do so. It is estimated that four out of 10 dog owners do not regularly walk their dogs. 53% of American households own a dog. That's a 20% increase since the year 2000. It's also estimated that dog owners are spending two times more on dogs than ever before, and particularly on time-saving activities. So dog walking is in higher demand than ever. Now let's work out how on earth you can earn over 100K a year from this. If you live in a densely populated area that's also affluent like Stuart does in New York, it will make it much easier for you to grow. It's not gonna happen overnight, but gradually by gradually, you'll build up that client base. Take a look at this graph. You can pause if you like, but you can see if you walk dogs in groups the money can quickly stack up. Stuart is able to do five walks a day and he walks five dogs in each of these five walks charging for each dog $20 per walk. This in turn makes him $10,000 a month and well over six figures a year. Although you have the initial problem of finding the clients Websites such as Bark can help. That's how I found Rufus. Hi, Rufus. Oh, he weed on my camera. As I was saying, websites such as Bark can help. That's how I found Rufus. However, this does cost to acquire your clients. But then you also have Facebook groups where dog walkers are united and they can also help you build your client base. I still can't believe you weed on my camera. Next, it's essential. Thanks, Rufus that you walk multiple dogs in one group. So location is key. You might live somewhere remote where it's virtually impossible to walk dogs because you have to drive miles in order to pick them up and you'd need a specially adapted van. I've seen people do it, but if you're wanting to make good money, that's not quite a solution to do that. The other issue with working with groups of dogs is that some dogs just don't get along with other dogs. So you have to bear this in mind, but it could stagnate your growth. Thanks Rufus for uh, pushing the tree the camera's on. <laughs> the first few weeks of walking Rufus were painful. He wasn't trained and he would pull so hard on the lee, my hands would hurt afterwards. However, I soon came to love him. I realized I was being paid to do something I love and be outside in nature, which I love. So you've got to really weigh up the pros and cons with this one. I also soon realized that this business was not for me because the effort I was putting in was directly related to the money I was getting. It's not the easiest to scale. I'd have to employ a whole team of people in order to make the type of money that I'd like down the line. And I wasn't passionate enough to do that. Despite the potential of the business, most dog walkers are earning a fairly modest wage. I think just like any business, you have the people that make amazing money like Stuart, but it's not always that easy. In conclusion, I'd say if your goal is to make six figures, there are much easier businesses to do so. Our dogs deserve us to be passionate about them and not the money. Although there's nothing wrong about scaling a business you're passionate about and where there is so much demand in which you are helping other people. Until next time. This woman here is so cute. Rufus met their dog and she said, oh, my one's never liked a ball like yours. And I said, oh, what did your dog like doing? and she was like fighting <laughs> and then she said one day a staffy came up behind the dog and sunk his teeth into his bum i felt sad but i was also like <laughs> it's one of them where you try not to laugh also rufus just come out of the water good lad this is the behind the scenes of dog walking if you watch this long i appreciate you until next time <laughs>